Did you know that you can now get Google to auto reply to your emails with your voice and with any context that you have inside of your drive or anywhere else? Or maybe we didn't realize that you now can get Google Gemini to respond to you, not in text format, but in an interactive format if you're a visual learner. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna learn about a bunch of different hidden Gemini features that you need to make sure that you're using right now in 2026. Now, the first new update that I wanted to show you is their new dynamic view. If you consider yourself a visual learner, Learner, you are going to love this right here. So in order to activate it, you're going to click on tools right here. You're then going to click on dynamic view, and then you're going to ask Gemini anything that you would normally ask it. For example, I'm going to say, please explain to me how AI agents and AI automations work. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to go through and actually build a dynamic web page that goes through and explains exactly what I want to learn here. And we could see that this is now working through tons of different stuff. Now, my favorite thing to do is to actually click on this right here, and then we can actually read through everything that this is doing. So the first thing it's doing, it's going through, it's initiating those different explanations, it's expanding on the interactive concept, it's defining the interactive components, it's then refreshing that, it's then dividing the visual comparisons then it goes through and actually maps out and architects out what it is going to build here and we could see that if we scroll down here that this is now building me out a website so instead of me getting just a normal response which I'm going to show you over here by copying this prompt and then we're going to open up Gemini in a different window here and I'm just going to ask the same exact question we could see that what we would normally get in Gemini is just this block of text right here which in my opinion is quite boring and isn't really super helpful for anybody we could see that it did make us a sheet right here and it did didn't look like it pulled in any videos or any images, but if we come back over here and look at this dynamic view, we could see this is going through and actually building us out an interactive website right here where we can actually go through and we could interact with this however we want. Now, I would strongly suggest that you wait until this is actually done for you to be able to check out the dynamic view because it does change quite a bit, especially the different functionalities. So I'm gonna let this refresh for a second and finally finish up and then I'm gonna walk you through all that this looks like. Okay, so now that this is done, we can see exactly what this looks like. Instead of us getting this block of text like what we had over here, we get this great interactive website here where we can actually go through and see all the different things that this could do. And we can actually walk through each area here, which is incredibly useful if you're a visual learner. In addition to that, it goes through all of these different things so that we could see exactly what they look like. And guess what? If we wanted to change things about this, we just click on Ask Gemini right here and we can continue to Ask Gemini and it will continue to build out this visual experience for us. On top of that, we could also share this with somebody else if we wanted to come over here clicking on share a conversation. So if you build something out and you want to share it with a coworker or somebody that works with you or just a friend or your parents, you could do that right here. In addition to that, you could rename this or pin this chat if you wanted to. Now, hidden feature number two is actually going to be piggybacking on this. So if we come over here and we click on settings right here, you are going to see scheduled actions right here. So if you click on this, essentially what this is going to allow you to do is schedule out for Gemini to automate things. For example, if we come over here, we could see that I have this work brief right here. Now, this is paused right now because I was just on vacation, so I didn't want this constantly pinging, but we could see right here that if we come over here, you can name exactly what this is going to do. You could give it instructions for how it should actually be doing things. For example, create a work brief for me. You could specify whether or not you want it to go through your Google Drive, if you want it to go through your calendar, if you want it to go through a Gmail or anything else that you have your Google Gemini connected to. And then you can also choose when it's going to be done, daily, weekly, monthly. You could choose what days, what cadences right here, which I really like. It makes it really easy for you to stop it on the weekend or something like that and you could choose what time this will actually run. Now, in addition to that, if you did want to add in your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, all that stuff in here, what you need to make sure is happening is you need to make sure that when you come into your connected apps that you have all these different things connected. When you can see, you can connect this to GitHub, you could connect this to your Google Workspace, to YouTube Music, to OpenStax right here, and to Synth ID, and I would expect a lot more connections to be coming in 
early 2026. Now before I get into the rest of the hidden features that are only going to keep getting crazier and crazier, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now the next hidden feature that I wanted to show you is that now if you use Google Drive or you use Google Docs or Google Sheets, you have Gemini inside of here and you can ask this about your files and you can learn everything that Gemini can do. So I'm going to click on what kind of things can Gemini do in Drive and we can see right here that it could summarize content, we could ask it questions and get facts, and we could search for files, work with images, we can create and export, and we can even get this to actually manage our files. In addition to that, this goes through all of its different capabilities in other workspace places. For example, if we come over here and let's say that we type in docs right here, we could come over here and pull up this document right here, and we could see that I now have Gemini directly inside of here, and I can get it to change things and we'll see that it pops up right here where we can actually go through and do things or click on refine right here and this is incredibly useful if you're doing anything inside of a PowerPoint, inside of a sheet, inside of anything. For example, it, let's say that we were doing a math equation inside of a sheet, you could actually get this to write out formulas and do things like that, or refine it, summarize it, and you can actually get Gemini to learn about your preferences. Or if we come back over here, you could see that you could come into settings, click on personal context right here, and this is where you can actually add in all of your personal context that will then get saved. And then whenever you access Gemini, in inside of any of your apps, it will actually have that context so it will know what you want it to respond like, how you want it to write, and all of that stuff, which is incredibly helpful. In addition to that, this is incredibly helpful for getting this to actually go through different things. For example, summarize this folder, and now what this is going to do is actually grab this folder right here, and it's going to tell me all about it, what's inside of it, and what all these different things say, and guess what? These are all a bunch of videos, so it can actually go through and understand and watch the videos. And right now, Gemini is the only tool that can go through and and interact with tons of different files. It can interact and understand with videos, with images, with sheets, with PDFs, with documents, pretty much anything that you could think of. And Gemini is the best at that, which is why it's incredibly powerful to know that you have Gemini everywhere that you go inside of Google's ecosystem. And that if you actually give it personal context, that it will then maintain that across Gemini everywhere that it goes. Now the next hidden setting and feature is something that I wanted to show you that you can access from inside of your Gmail. You're gonna see right here, if we click on the top right hand corner, Studio, and if we click on this, and then we come over here and click Do More in Studio, this is going to allow you to automate your work with Gemini, and this right here, if you don't have this built out, it's absolutely amazing. You do need a workspace account in order to actually access this, but I would strongly suggest that you get this set up, because if we come down here, you can see all the different things so you can automate. In fact, these are templated things like get a daily summary of all unread emails or notify you about urgent emails. Or if we come over here to better emails, you can get a pre-meeting brief in your chats. You can automatically draft summaries and action items after meetings, or you can get meeting reminders inside of your chats. And if we come under tasks and actions, you could see other things that you can actually go through and automate. In fact, if we click on the plus right here, you'll be able to see how you can automate things. For example, like I was sharing with you in the introduction, if you wanted to, you could actually come over here and automate all the different emails that you get. So you could come over here and with any email or with a specific email, you could choose what this actually does. For example, draft a reply to the email or you could get it to even send a reply to an email. Let's say that we're gonna do draft a reply to an email. You can actually choose what the message is going to be here and have the message actually created with Gemini, which is absolutely incredible. And you could see that you could change how this is actually responded to, who's CC'd, who's BCC'd, and you could go through and actually add in tons of different steps because you can add Gemini in here. You can add these different AI skills in here. You could add different tools in here. And you can also connect this not only to Gemini, but to chat, to sheets, to drive, to docs, and to tasks. And this is gonna allow you to begin to automate your email or any other tasks that you're currently doing inside of Google's network. And in the future, hopefully in Q1 of 2026, they're going to add tons of different integrations into this and an MCP server that makes it really easy for you to be able to build in other automation. So if you're doing anything inside of Google right now, I would strongly suggest 
you begin to build this out. And then that last thing I wanted to show you is going to be Google Labs, because if we come over into Google Labs and you click on View All, they're constantly adding in new labs here. They're constantly adding in new updates to these labs. And this is basically where Google is going through and building out new things. For example, they have this experimental AI right now that goes through your Gmail, goes through your Drive, goes through your calendar and everything, and actually gives you a brief every morning of all the different things that you have to do here. Or if you don't care about that, you could come over here and you could see tons of other different things like Pameli right here, which is a marketing AI agent that Google created. Or if you scroll down, you will see that they have tons of these for all of these different things for pretty much everything that you could think of. And if you scroll up right here, this will actually allow you to go through and find what's for play, what's for learning, what's for exploring or finding new things, what's for actually going through and developing new things or creating things. For example, this one right here allows you to detect whether or not something was actually created with the AI. Or this one right here allows you to create UIs if you're developing a website. Or this one right here allows you to actually go through and evaluate things with AI. Or if we click on create right here, this one will show you a bunch of different tools that use VO 3.1 in Google's Nano Banana Pro in order to be able to make images or videos. And I would strongly suggest that you mess around with these because what I've found over the last year or so is that every single one of these labs eventually makes their way into Gemini. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have a special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you how to use ChatGPT like a pro for 2026. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.